And I'm really delighted it's time to meet my first guest on today's afternoon show, UK Children's Laureate Joseph Coilo, who is an award-winning performance poet, playwright and children's author. And his Luna Loves Picture Book series have been a great big hit, even included in Scotland-wide book bug bag. That is difficult to say. Uh, that means that the Scottish Book Trust give copies to children across the country. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, Joseph is in Edinburgh for various events at the Edinburgh Book Festival, but he's also mid-marathon library tour on a brilliant mission to join a library in every local authority in the UK. That's more than 200 libraries in total. He's a busy guy. He's off to Shetland later today, but he's still made time for us now. He's in our Edinburgh studio. Hello, how are you, Joseph? I'm great, Janice. How are you? Really good. And I think we we. Like Last met up when you were doing because you're you're a very busy guy. You were doing one of our authors live events at the BBC in Glasgow. I can't remember when that was now. Yeah, it was, it was quite a few years ago now. <laughs> <laughs> I've done so many of them. I think they've done two hundred or something That's like amazing. that. Amazing. But they are they are absolutely wonderful. So there you are. As I say, you're the current children's laureate, following the likes of Michael Murpurgo, Jacqueline Wilson, the brilliant Mallory Blackman, and more. What has it been like for you? It's been just such a thrill and an honour and a privilege. It's been so lovely meeting young people and teachers and librarians and hearing their stories and uh, being sent their poems. I've, I've, I've had a, a whale of a time. It's been exhausting, but absolutely lovely. <laughs> <I'll bet> you <laughs> but you must be in your element because, uh, you know, having seen you do the author's life thing, you're such a terrific communicator, as so many authors are. And particularly when you're reaching out to communicate with children, it's, there's a real sort of skill there. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I, I'm just, you know, pinch myself every time I get to do it. And it's like this morning I, I was at the festival showing my YA novel, The, the Girl Lost in the Maze, with, mm -hmm. with schools. And it was just such an honour to, to get to speak to them and to hear their questions. And, of course, I get to meet a lot of young want-to-be writers yes. asking for advice, you know, and they say, oh, you know, where can I start? What should I do? And I, I love that I, I'm able to, to give them advice. I always say to them, get a notebook yeah. because you never know when good ideas are going to come. <laughs> and I would have loved that opportunity when I was growing up I didn't really realize I could be a writer for for quite a while until I was really an, an adult you know um so it's so lovely to be able to to sh share some tips and tricks yeah. about the profession what was was there a wee turning point or a, a, a light bulb moment when you realized that you wanted to do it and you could do it there were the, the first seed was sown when I uh, met uh, Jean Binter Breeze who visited my school wonderful poet from Jamaica who sadly passed away uh, recently um, but she came to my school and she sat on our school stage and read a poem and I was blown away and it, it was the first time I realized oh you know poetry can do this yeah it can silence a, a class of naughty kids <laughs> um and so that planted the first seed and then I started get, getting involved with performance poetry through performance poetry organization apples and snakes in ah. London and I was part of the, the London poetry scene and it, it was a wonderful outlet for me I, I got to you know put my heart on the page and yes. to share poems on a weekly basis with live paying audiences <sighs> and and so it was fr and, but even then I didn't realize I could be a writer I could be an author mm -hmm. you know it took a while of, of meeting other poets and then meeting poets that had published and then meeting authors and bit by bit my horizons broadened and I started to meet people that were doing those things and then it's when that happens that you realize oh they're yes. doing it maybe I could do it and that's the thing I think what you're doing you and the various other uh, children's laureates over the years it's that thing when it's not all about trying to persuade kids that they can be writers but there's no doubt about I think the profound ripple effect there it's seeing that 